Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm doing a product review on a meat stick wireless meat thermometer. The good people at Meat Stick sent me this meat stick wireless thermometer. And you get the charging base with it. And what this is, is this it works with Bluetooth. It takes two AA batteries. It charges up in about four or five hours and it lasts for 24 hours on a charge. And you connect this to your smart device, your phone or your tablet through Bluetooth and you can monitor your food. And it comes with this little warning label saying that you should stick the stainless steel probe all the way into the meat because that there can't handle the heat that the black ceramic part can handle. And I'll tell you the specifications on it in just a second, guys. So let me get this sticker off of here. I left this on so you can see it. But you're supposed to take it off before you cook. All right. And this is, the, like I said, the charging base. You push that button to charge. I'm not going to do that now because it's already charged. This here, uh, the box contains one meat stick, one meat stick charger, user manual, stick lasts 24 hours on a full charge. Charger operates with two AA batteries not included. So I went ahead and I threw two AA's in there. Now the temperature range for this here, for the meat sensor, is stainless steel part. That there goes from 32 degrees to 212 degrees is the maximum heat that can handle. But if you're going to cook your meat to 212 degrees, you're going to eat something burn. Now, the sensor part here, that will go from 32 degrees to 572 degrees, which is really hot. And this here, you can it's dishwasher safe. You can use it in a deep fryer, which I thought was really cool, because you can drop that and submerge that in oil. High heat resistance, 24 hour and a full charge, app enabled, extended range. All right. And then you download the app on your phone or your tablet. I had it on my phone and I'll bring this up and show it to you. Let me get this over here. And that's the app. It says it will not work without Bluetooth, so I got to turn on my Bluetooth, which is just automatically turned on Bluetooth for me. Now it's loading this. Once to do that setting, but here's now cooking. Okay, now I have roughly here a six and a half pound chicken, and I put about two cups of water in the bottom of my pan. And I'm going to keep my seasoning simple for this. I have some turkey seasoning. You can buy buy this at the Dollar Tree or at your grocery store under a different name brand. I'm just going to go ahead and season this up well with that turkey seasoning. and I'm going to put a little bit of parsley on it. And there's salt in that turkey seasoning, so I'm not going to add any salt. There's a bunch of other good spices. Okay, now that I have my chicken all seasoned up, I have the meat stick here in its charging base. I'm going to go to the app and hit Set Up Cook. Uh, it wants me to push the button. Now I'm going to hit Next. Now it's going to search for the meat stick. Okay, now it's what method are we using? It gives us oven, stove top, grill, smoke, sous vide, deep fry. We're going to do oven. And we're going to go for poultry. Now we're going to do a chicken. We want it well done. We want an internal target temperature of 165. And guys, I'm still learning this, so please bear with me. Okay, we're at 165 for the internal temperature. And target ambient. I'm not quite sure what that is, guys. We're just going to do that. We'll leave that right where it's at. Now, it says adjust temperature alerts. Early warning, it's going to set, it, set the, sound the alarm off when it hits 160 degrees internally. Then the target temperature at 165, it's going to set that alarm off. All right, now I'm not going to worry about this ambient temperature alert because I'm really not sure what that's for. I'll have to read more into that, guys. My apologies. Now it's sending the quick information to the meat stick. Now it's syncing with the meat stick. It says synced. Now it wants me to stick the thermometer into the meat. So we'll move this out of the way. And guys, this here walks you through it pretty much. And I'm going to take the meat stick and I'm going to stick it in the thickest part of the chicken which is the breast and I'm putting it all the way down in so that 
stainless steel probe is covered and protected from the heat because that only goes up to 200 some degrees like we said. Now I'm going to hit start cook. Okay, now it's saying that the internal temperature of the chicken is 59 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, I'm not sure what the 78 degrees is for. We're going to get this in the oven. And I'm not going to take that out of the oven or open the oven until that goes off. So I'll bring you guys back when the chicken's done. All right, guys, my chicken's done. Uh, it says it was at 167, but it actually was at 165. I pulled the chicken out. And it went for an hour and 15 minutes. Now, many times when you make chicken, you think it's done, and it's actually like 180 degrees and it's dry. We're going to let this rest, and we're going to cut into it, and we'll see how the meat stick did. All right, guys, I left my chicken rest. I'm also making stuffing with gravy and some butter broccoli, but we're not going to put that together. We're just showing the chicken how it turned out. And ambient temperature is your room temperature. I'm a cook, not a meteorologist, so please excuse me. So let me cut in this chicken, and let's see how we're looking. And guys, I can see the juice just running off that chicken. Let's cook through. It's nice and juicy. I'll try a little piece. The chicken's moist. And you would have to go in there with the regular meat thermometer and check that every 20 minutes or so to make sure you get at that optimum temperature of 165. Where the meat stick, it does all the work for you. And I'll put a link down in the description bar where you can buy the meat stick if you're interested in it. Thanks for watching my review, guys, and until next time, I'll see you.